Hello, I'm Evan Wright, a solicitor and partner at the Business Crime and Regulation Unit at JMW Solicitors. In another video, I talked about how the COVID-19 situation has delayed trials, has led to the need for applications for extension of custody time limits, and the need for advice on whether bail applications might be made. I mentioned the current temporary release provisions for serving prisoners, but I didn't go into detail. I'm going to do that now because a client has asked me the question. Firstly, why is it referred to temporary release and not early release? Well, in practical terms, the temporary release may turn into early release as long as the conditions are not uh, breached. It's because the statutory provisions applied in this scenario are to do with temporary release. They're commonly used where a prisoner is granted short-term release to attend a, a job at DeVue funeral or any temporary release the governor sees fit to consider. Uh, here, COVID-19 has produced a situation where prisoners coming to the end of their sentence may turn a temporary release into an early release. So who is eligible? Risk assessed prisoners who are within two months of their release date will be tempor temporarily released uh, from prison. Why? Because if thousands of prisoners become infected, it will overwhelm the NHS. Prisoners who meet particular criteria uh, will be subject to strict conditions and will be electronically monitored to enforce the requirement to stay at home. Uh, they can be uh, immediately recalled to prison if, for reaching those conditions or of course committing further offences. Uh, those releases will be phased over time and uh, are I'm just about to start. So should members of the public be worried? No high-risk offenders, including those convicted of violent or sexual offences, will be eligible. Uh, anyone of national security concern or a danger to children won't be considered for release. Uh, neither will any prisoners who have not served at least half of their custodial term. Uh, also, no offender convicted of a uh, COVID-19 related offence, including coughing at emergency workers or stealing personal protective equipment, uh, will be eligible. Uh, and a prisoner won't be released if they have symptoms of coronavirus and they don't have housing or health support in place in the community. Now, in addition, the Minister of Justice is trying to identify publicly owned sites that could be used to house temporary prison accommodation. So it doesn't necessarily mean release to the normal home address, although that's what's likely to happen in most cases. So what if a prisoner believes they are eligible and they've not been identified as suitable for release? Um, strictly speaking, this shouldn't happen because the criteria is quite specific. Uh, however, can we be certain that the prisons will get it right in each and every case? Uh, well, if not, the internal process has to be exhausted before external routes are pursued. And when I say external, I mean judicial review, which is a serious application to make. Uh, nevertheless, a small number of cases might justify an application for permission to have the prison's decision judicial reviewed. How costly is that? Well, in a small number of the small number of cases, conditional fee arrangements might be available, but experienced solicitors in judicial review will charge an initial fee to look at the circumstances uh, before advising on whether the application is really worth pursuing. Um, feel free to get in touch if you or one of yours thinks they might benefit from advice on that point. So it will be interesting to see what this does uh, in the long term to sentencing policy. It'll be interesting to see in the short term how released prisoners respond to this opportunity. But there's no doubt that the COVID-19 situation will shake up the criminal justice system from just about every angle. And one of the sharpest angles is the continued detention or release of those who would ordinarily be assessed as requiring a prison cell. I'm Evan Wright and thank you for watching.